Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a new Let's Play series with me Rahal and uh, yeah this is me playing Final Fantasy 14. Final Fantasy 14 you might ask? Isn't that that sort of well hello pink cat lady tail? Um, what was I saying? Yes isn't that the MMO? Yes yes it is Final Fantasy the MMO. Uh, and I am here, um, I'm, well, I'm not going to play through the whole MMO for you, because that would take, uh, actually, can I actually see how much I play this? No, I cannot. Well, uh, that would take a lot of time and a lot of effort. Um, so what I plan to do, well, I basically plan to do a little bit of snippets here and there, you know, to, to give anyone interested out there sort of a, a, a view in of Final Fantasy XIV, a Realm Reborn, I should say also that this is the Realm Reborn version. So, someone is casting magic right next to me. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, so, where to start? Man, uh, this game, when it first came out, when Final Fantasy XIV first came out, it was the worst game ever, basically. It was completely broken and on fire, so they had to uh, basically take it down and take it back to the drawing board, and um, this took several years, and now, very recently, a month ago, they released... Uh, less than a month, a month ago, they released a remake of it, and I bought into it because... Basically because of this guy right here, my character, because look at this armor, guys. Look at this. I am so... Oh, uh, that white mage apparently wants to heal me for some reason. Um, yeah, look at this armor. Uh, if you haven't guessed already, I am playing a dragoon. And this is my artifact gear. Basically, this is the armor set you get for sort of uh, getting to level 50 in, in, a, in a job. You get sort of a free artifact set and this is, this is what I use. Um, so yeah, Dragoon is a very mobile, very aerial fighter jumping around and you use a spear to, you know, stab things with. Um, so yeah, it's a damage dealing class, a DPS class, melee DPS class, a, a bit like the rogue perhaps? Um, but not really, well, yeah, there are some similarities with the rogue. So this is my action bars down here, uh, more action bars to the right here. Um, and where are we right now, by the way? Yeah, we are in Ulda, one of the main capital cities of the game. This is the, you know, the big palace sort of thing. And up here, by the way, I can just show... Uh, ...is the sort of the bar, the sort of inn, where most players actually, you know, hang out when they don't have anything else to do, basically. So you can, uh, you can, you can hang out in here. You have a, an innkeeper over here, which you can actually sort of, uh, you know... You can talk to this to get into your very own room, which I can actually show very quickly. Yes, good day, adventure. Yes, I want to retire to a room. So I am in the region of Thamalan and the city of Dam. Sorry. Yeah, this is my in room. This is basically where I can relax. I can read the unending story, which is sort of a summary of all the plot points up to this point. Uh, I do like the main story, actually, of this game. It's pretty good. Um, it's not the best. Uh, but it's solid. It is certainly a solid, uh, solid story. Armor to store things in. A summoning belt to summon your servants, uh, which you use to basically buy stuff from the uh, from the auction house. And inside here is a rest zone, so you get rested XP. And you know anyone who has played World of Warcraft, of course, knows of rest XP. Um, yeah, so Ulda is one of the main cities of the game. Uh, the other ones are uh, Gridania, which is the forest city, and the Limsa Luminsa, which is sort of the sea pirate city. Uh, I am in Ulda because this is basically my hometown. Um, I have joined one of the grand companies in the game, uh, specifically the Immortal Flames, and the Immortal Flames headquarters are in Ulda. Uh, the grand company is sort of a... <sighs> How to explain? The Grand Company is sort of a special faction you can join inside the game, and they give, um, depending on which one you uh, join, it gives access to certain uh, gear and like mounts and things like that. Uh, and you buy them with certain, you know, certain uh, s amount of like cash, special uh, special cash you earn uh, in that company. Basically, you build reputation uh, with the company for anyone who played World of Warcraft, which is you know, probably everyone. 
So, yeah, so this is the city. Well, this is one of the districts of the city. Uh, here's the map. This is the northwestern part of the city. We have another district down here. Um, also, I like all that it's pretty easy to navigate. It's not as confusing as a Limsa Lominsa, which is a sort of nightmare to navigate. So then you might ask, what are we doing here? Well, um, we are actually not here to see me play as my Dragoon, although I can record that, you know, for in future episodes if anyone is interested. I can certainly do a, a recording of my Dragoon and, you know, its abilities and stuff like that. No, what I actually thought I was going to do was to try to sort of lower confusion a, a bit by going to uh, going to play one of my uh, secondary classes. Um, so Dragoon is my main, obviously. My secondary class though is going to be Gladiator and later Paladin. Um, and how this works in this game is quite interesting actually. You only basically need one character ever in this game. Um, because you can actually go to uh, your gear list here, or you can you can do this manually. I have automated this by basically creating gear sets here. So Final Fantasy XIV, you can actually on the fly change your class. So right now I'm a dragoon, uh, but I can with a with a press of a button basically change to gladiator like this. Well, I am. All right, I am now a gladiator, level level 18 gladiator. So I went from level 50 dragoon to level 18 gladiator at a press of a button and all my levels are still sort of intact with the dragoon um, let's see if I can actually bring that up classes yes here you can see here's the the list of all the classes you can level up you can see I have dabbled in you know a little bit of everything here uh, the only thing I really haven't done is culinarian because or carpenter but you know we'll, we'll, we'll get there fish or haven't fished anyway so so yeah, this is very cool. You can you can level up in multiple classes at your leisure, basically. And what's more interesting is actually that you can bring abilities from certain classes into other classes. So as a gladiator, I can actually bring abilities from Conjurer, which is the healer class in the game, like the early healer class. So I have, for instance, uh, Protect. I can cast Protect with my gladiator, and I can actually heal myself with my gladiator too. Uh, I have also brought in Raging Strikes, a buff from Archer that increases your damage you deal. Uh, so yeah, I'm level 18. Uh, I got a few items here. So what I think I'm going to do actually is try to get into um, the early dungeons of this game to basically show it in action because I could run out in the world and run around and you know do a quest or some such. But that's you know I I think personally that dungeons are more interesting because you can see more of the the game in action, you can see more of the game mechanics in action. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, also by the way, I uh, I can't do it in town, but I can. Okay, let's quickly walk out and I can show you because I have a I have a mount and I want to show you my mount because I'm very proud. <laughs> very proud of my mount. Um, yeah, also for those interested, I am on Odin server, the Odin server, which is a European server. Uh, I'm in a guild too called Excelsius, uh, which is a pretty nice guild, I must say. Uh, I'm happy being here. Lots of nice people, and uh, been been doing some, um, you know, instancing and stuff with these guys. So that's nice. And tonight maybe I'm going to go on a raid. So that's that's sweet. Now apparently in in outer Thunderland here there is a sandstorm going. So you know it's the sand is blowing everywhere and visibility is lackluster. This game is beautiful, by the way. I really like the look of this game. Now, uh, yeah, I have a mount. Yeah, I can show. Observe my Shokobo. Uh, I am naming him Horus. Uh, that is not Horus as in the Horus Heresy, but Horus as in, is the name of um, a famous sort of literary person in Sweden, actually. So I named him after, after that guy. But yeah, there's my Shokobo. It's my mount. You get him at around level 20. And... Uh, yeah, you can see, you know, there's, there's a, all of new players here. There's a level one player fighting this huge hornet, and oh, she's winning, of course. Um, so now then, yes, going into an instance, you might ask, um, how how do I do that? How I mine for fish? Well, uh, you can spam general chat uh, if you want, but much more effective is to go to the duty finder down here. 
And here you can see a list of all the dungeons I have unlocked in the game. Some dungeons unlock in the story, some dungeons are side quests you can unlock by yourself. So I have three dungeons unlocked at this point. I have Sastasha, which is a pirate uh, dungeon. So you, you, it's, it's basically like the Van Cleef, uh, the Dead Mines equ equivalent of this game. Uh, I have the Tamtara Deepcroft, uh, which I guess would be something like Shadow Keep, perhaps from World of Warcraft. It's sort of an underground dungeon crawl thing. And Copperbell Mines, which is, uh, well, you go into a mine. <laughs> Um, and fight in the mine. So yes, I am. Th I'm thinking going gonna do this in order. I'm a bit over leveled for Sastasha at this point, but I, uh, you know, uh, I will certainly sign up for that. So I click for Sastasha and I click join, and uh, we'll we'll see where this takes us. I will actually, I think, pause recording here because it can take a, a little while uh, before we actually get queued up. Uh, so I, I think I will pause the recording here and you know go go to part two for uh, for me you know joining in on Sastasha basically. Um, so yeah, see you then, folks.